Today we want to put the Thorfi C8S versus the Sofern C8A with a focus on the Sofern as the newcomer. But why would we care about those C8 style lights anyways? Well, here's a look at my flashlight collection from 2011. In there you see a Spiderfire C8 version, which held up for many years of hard use, even with emergency services. It came with an orange peel reflector and a SSCP7 LED putting out amazing 4 to 500 lumens of floody light, which was breathtaking back in the day. C8 are built by many manufacturers. They are constantly updated, many parts even between manufacturers can be swapped and exchanged. They are easy to maintain, repair and modify. C8 lights are in a sweet spot offering enough surface area to dissipate heat well, a decent reflector size and they are still compact enough to fit in almost every gear setup. They feel good in your hand and typically are very sturdy and simple. If you can own only one flashlight, it should be a C8 version. The Torfi is around since about two years and is highly praised. Thorfi, like Sofern, is a smaller company which has produced some interesting lights in the last years. Like Sofern, Thorfi aims at building quality lights for a low price. The Torfi C8 puts out a max of 900 lumen, the Sofern claims more than 1700 lumen, which is amazing for such a small package. Both lights cost about the same, depending on the accessories or price point at the 20 US dollars mark. Build quality. At first they look the same apart from the electronics and LED. My Thorfi has been used extensively as a bike lamp. That is why it is scratched up a bit. You can swap all the parts between the two lights. The host is the same besides a small difference in length. However, the Torfi is heavier, featuring a more solid reflector and maybe some more aluminum in other areas as well. It has thicker anodizing, a texture adding to grip and a little more attention to details. For example, on the bezel you see a better quality of machining, cleaner cutbacks. The Sofern has a pretty satin-like anodizing with a few little flaws out of the package. It is good. But this area goes to the Thorfire C8 version. Let's talk about the light output. The Surfern comes with a mystery 18650 cell that says it is protected, but maybe it's not. Also the cell does not deliver the amps for the light. The Surfern steps back on the timer from 1700 lumen mode after 3 minutes to protect the light from overheating. But with the mystery 18650 cell, the light barely gets lukewarm. If you do the same however with an LG high drain cell, the light is so hot after 3 minutes that it is uncomfortable to touch. Also it is much brighter, probably closer to 2000 lumen. So if you want to use the Sofern to its full potential, get a good high drain cell. Sofern has messed up with the battery, this needs to be corrected. I do all the night shots with the LG cell. Even with the dubious Sofern mystery cell, the light is still brighter than a Torfire C8. But with the proper high drain cell, you get a few hundred more lumen. Let's mention the light quality. Both lights feature almost the same smooth reflector. They produce a tight hotspot and a useful large spill area. They are throwers, but still useful for general purpose. The Sofern has a warmer light color, which is a real plus over the Torfire. Let's talk about the modes. I will not give you a detailed explanation of all the modes on both lights. They both feature the type of slow reaction mode memory that sometimes makes you ask whether there is actual mode memory. But believe me, there is mode memory, you just need to be a little bit slower with clicking through the modes. Now both lights feature a reverse clicky and they have a hidden strobe. The Sofern is a bit more sophisticated as it features a group mode which I like. The Torfire has a high mode at 900 lumen which is the sweet spot between reasonable heat production and maximum light output. The Sofern offers nothing at the 1000 lumen mark. It has either a 1700 plus lumen mode which produces too much heat for continuous operation or a 600 lumen mode. 
In between the gap is a sweet spot that the Sofern ignores. This is interesting as according to the manual it should have a mode with 1050 lumen in group 2. But this is the same 1700 lumen mode like on group 1. If things would work like in the manual, group 2 would be a safe mode offering the best balance between excess heat and light output. But I guess you still can use the lamp with a low drain cell, limiting the light output and preventing overheating. The light is still very bright. So let's come to the conclusions. Thorfi and Sofern make good lights for small budgets. Their C8 are among the finest C8 versions out there. The Thorfi C8S is a wonderful light. Everything is done right. If you don't need an extreme output and you don't have high drain cells and if you are okay with the colder light color, go with the Thorfi. If you want a single LED emitter C8 version that is close to being maxed out in terms of light output, then go with the Sofern. The Sofern has a few cosmetic problems, while the questionable battery delivered by Sofern is not the fault of the C8A. I like my Sofern C8A and plan to upgrade it with a stainless steel bezel from Convoy soon. That is the beauty of C8 lights, you can always mix and match. I wish Sofern would deliver the C8A with a decent battery or no battery at all. Also, please give me a mode between 600 and 1700 lumen. Some knurling on a battery tube and maybe a bit more mass to dissipate the heat faster would also be nice. But those are only suggestions. Right now the Sofern C8A is an outstanding option in the C8 market.